Okay, so when I was first making this, my audio got messed up for this first clip, so it's pretty much going over me saying like, hi, how you guys doing? Pretty much just what was in the video. So I'm just going to say that here. Um, So this video is over the cluster of builds that I run on three different characters. It's going to go Warlock to Hunter to Titan. I mainly play Warlock and Hunter. Titan is just unless I have to ultra sweat, you know, to help somebody get a flawless or something like that. But uh, if you want more Titan gameplay, go look up Living Hurts on YouTube. He does a lot. He mains Titan. I don't. So go hit him with a sub and a follow. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's get into it. First off, we have, in my opinion, the most competitive for threes with Callisto. Not my favorite, but most fun. Um, it's the Voidwalker. Tier 6 Grizzle for Thorn 2 tap. 100 recub, 100 int. 8 discipline. T steps for the movement because I run Blink because I find Blink fun. Telesto as normal. And then instead of Voidwalker, we run Vortex. Run Cash Accelerant so I can turn my Vortex grenade into a mini Nova to flush people out, cut off areas. Good stuff. And then Child of the Old Gods because this is very annoying to deal with. You could run Feed the Void if you want in replacement for Chaos Accelerant, but I prefer. Or actually, you, know, you probably want to change it to Child of the Old Gods. Never mind. I prefer to not run this because both the void abilities, whether it be the grenade or the melee, they're not the greatest at getting kills. So I prefer to run child and chaos fragment wise. Uh, Echo of Vigilance because it's busted. Leeching because it's also phenomenal. Dilation just for the stat bump. And obscurity for the stat bump. And then hand cannon wise, this has been in every one of my videos. Awestringer, Range Masterwork, Hammer Forged, Ricky, Eye of Storms, and Moment. Anti flinch gun is just amazing and awesome. You can challenge SMGs with this and win sometimes. They're bad. Uh, build that everyone sees is my getaway artist arc build. I run getaway artist so I can have maximum arc souls up time. Or not arc souls. Arc buddy. Well, okay, it is arc souls. But I always refer to them as arc buddies. They are phenomenal paired with Telesto because one tag of an arc soul will. Let me four burst every resil or four bolt every resil in the game. It is phenomenal. It makes it fairly consistent. Um, you, the stats you want with this is you want a hundred recov and a hundred dis all the time, so that you can have maximum uptime of both both of your sources of arc buddies, whether it be your rift or your grenade with getaway artist. Now, for the subclass, as far as that goes, I run KS reach just for the potential bubble shutdown, healing rift, burst glide. Fan Lightning for the lower cooldown, and then Flashbang for the lowest cooldown. Lightning's a 232, this is a 131. If you do it right, start of a trials round, you want to pop this, because you get it for 20 seconds, and you get amplified. And then by the end of that trials round, or at the start of the next one, you should be close to getting this back. Aspect-wise, you're in Lightning Surge and Arc Soul, because this melee is broken, and then Arc Soul, because you kind of need that. You... Could run electrostatic for the potential ionic trace on an arc buddy kill, but I don't think it's worth personally over the other two. Fragment wise, spark of resistance is phenomenal. Spark of momentum. Bolt is pretty good just for the reek of bump. And then spark of feedback because it's broken. This will allow your lightning search to one shot half the time. But that's that's pretty much it. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, professional video editor here. Um, I completely forgot to re uh, record transitions, so uh, up next is Hunter. Alright, so as far as Hunter goes, I don't really play this class as much as my Warlock, but there's two main builds that I run on it. Both of them are Void, just because Void's annoying and kind of broken. There is a build that I want to test and I've yet to do it, but the main one I run was actually suggested by a viewer, is a Gerfalcon's Halberd. I think Talbert? Yeah. With Telesto, and then you run Stylish Executioner so that you can get pretty much chain ended off of it. And it definitely works really well. It's 100% better in a 3v3 setting, even though I don't play this class in 3v3s. Because you can pretty much surprise one person, get another invis chain to go to the next person, to then once again have Volatile and all the good stuff. So, for this build, it's just. Oh my god. Anyway. So, for Gerfalcon Talberg, it's 
as simple as just popping out of invis and then your void weapons such as Celesta will gain volatile rounds. So for the rest of it, it's just vanishing step stylish executioner. So you can keep the chain going. Scatter grenade because they're absolutely broken. Uh, can't change your melee, which I kind of wish we had the ones from D1, the Venom and the Snare, but it's whatever. Fragment wise, we have dilation, we have leeching, instability, and then vigilance. Just because, once again, vigilance is broken. It's OEM for everybody. And then I usually just run Deadfall. Just because short cooldown. It's pretty, pretty beneficial. Other build I run, once again, another void build, but it's a low recov speed loader slacks orb generation build so for speed loaders i'd like to do 100 mobile six result as high as recov as you can possibly get in this case it's three and then 10 dis and then once again the vanishing step iron trappers ambush on speed loaders since i don't need the chain invis since i'm not really doing anything that would allow me to get stylus executioner to proc fragment though it's just dilation leeching starvation so whenever you pick up an orb you get devour and then vigilant and then speed loaders are busted they're just they're phenomenal but those are the two main hunter builds i run the other build i want to try i don't think i have the yeah is a art grenade shinobu's vow so the whole thought behind it is lob one of the shinobus in they get jolted from the skip grenade and then you lob some telesto in there to tag people and then the telesto is going to tag multiple people the jolt's going to tag multiple people if it works at all how i want it to actually i might go test it after this if it works at all how i want it to it should be pretty effective i imagine like it should clear our rooms pretty well but i don't know if you have to try it and then anything Titan related, go to Living Hurts on YouTube. I don't, I don't main Titan into Lesta. Whenever I play Titan, I'm just running full meta because I, I pretty much have to. If the Lesta ain't working, that's what I go to. And I absolutely hate that we're in a place in this game where the most meta is just Bubble Titan SMG. Given I still run Lesta on, of course, but it's just basic Bubble Titan builds. It's nothing, nothing special. Not like the Hunter Titan. Or Hunter Warlock. My bad, misspoke. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. Haha! -ha, editor's note again! Um, up next is Titan. Which I know I just said I don't play Titan that much. But I still wanted to throw him in here just in case people are actually curious about it. In case you guys want to end up seeing even what I run on Titan. It's just 100, 100, 100. PK Titan. Immortal Telesto. I run Bulwark for the grenade regen since I run such low discipline. But the other. Where is it? Other one I run is a different variation of PK, but it's Striker Titan with uh, high int. Not high int. High discipline, high recov, high resil, double arc grenade, jolt. It's pretty much what I want to turn the Hunter Skip grenade build into, but just Titan. But that's Titan. There's nothing really. There's no real special builds per se with Telesto. I tried a Behemoth. Do I, did I save it? I did not. But with the help of uh, Living, we tried a Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap build with it to freeze him from a mile away and then snipe him with Telesto. But uh, it was the most inconsistent thing ever. I think I got a single kill in an entire match of doing that, of freezing people with Diamond Lance and then charging Telesto, because it just wouldn't kill them. I don't know why. It it just wouldn't. But that's Titan. So as far as Telesto goes, I mean, it, it's a gun in a game. Use it however the heck you want. This is just an overview of how I like to use it and much why I find it just fun to use and to mess around with because you can really use it as anything you want whether you want to use it as a sniper rifle which is how I pretty much kind of specialize in using it or if you want to use it as just a, a cutoff tool to cut off angles people can peek it pretty much anything you want to listo can be used for and it's kind of funny but yeah hope you all enjoyed this and um, you will be seeing a video over that arc hunter build at some point whenever I get around to making it